we have the following reaction. We have methane CH4 plus two moles of diatomic sulfur forms carbon disulfide plus two H2S gas, hydrogen sulfide gas. Okay, now we take a couple of measurements. Temperature in degrees Celsius. And we calculated some rate constants for that. And that ended up being, so let me see, we did it at 550 degrees Celsius, and we also did it at 625 degrees Celsius. We got 1.1 and we got 6.4. Makes sense. Higher rate constant, faster rate, higher temperature, faster rate. So everything is good. We want to find the activation energy. Well, great. We have two constants and we have two temperatures. So let's use our equation that we just derived. And again, you don't have to know that equation. As long as you know the Arrhenius equation, everything else sh you can derive from there because you're just taking logarithms and fiddling with things. That's why we're showing you the derivation to show you you don't have to memorize the equation. It's where the equation came from and what you can do with it. Okay, so let's take the logarithm of K2 over K1. Well, you know what? Let me write it again. K2 over K1 is equal to minus E sub A over R, 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1. And again, temperature is in Kelvin. So this is equal to the logarithm of 6.4, that's this number, over 1.1 is equal to minus E sub A over 8.31 times. Now, 1 over T2. T2 is 625 degrees, that's 898 Kelvin. So it's 1 over 898 minus T1 is 550, that's 823 Kelvin. When we solve, when we do this and this, we end up with the following. Equals 1.7609 equals minus E sub A times minus 1.22 times 10 to the negative 5 we end up with an activation energy of 144,195 joules or 144 kilojoules. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of significant figures one way or the other, which is why my, you know, it looks like this. Numbers are probably going to be a little bit different as far as you're used to in your book. But it's the process that's important, ultimately not the significant figures. Later, if you become an analytical chemist, then significant figures will be a bigger issue. Um, but that's it. We've used the Arrhenius equation, which again is, it says that the rate constant is equal to some constant called the frequency factor exponential minus activation energy over RT. From this one equation, we can do multiple things. This expresses that the rate is dependent on temperature. This is the independent variable. This is the dependent variable. When we're taking kinetic data, we'll often have temperature and a rate constant. And we can do things to that based on how we fiddle with this equation. OK, with the Arrhenius equation, this concludes our discussion of kinetics. So I want to thank you for joining us for this discussion, and thank you for joining us here at Educator.com. We'll see you next time.